Yo guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to another review video and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Roboto Replicas laser screwdriver that the master uses from Doctor Who. Yeah that's a pretty big one. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and review it and as you can see uh, it comes in this nice little box right here. Um, so I'm going to give you guys my completely honest review of this proper replica. So as you can see, mine is number 48. Well, it's kind of upside down. Maybe if I turn up the camera upside down, you guys will see it the right way. As you can see, mine is number 84, I believe. I'm upside down filming, so yeah, mine's number 84, um, and... Yeah, I got it one pretty early in the run, actually, considering. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you can see, as you open up the box, you have the actual laser screwdriver itself uh, in its packaging encased in bubble wrap. And this is really, really good because it, it gives the laser screwdriver some protection. And, uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty cool, too. They always use this, like, green bubble wrap. And it's also... It also came shipped in a load of styrofoam too, so styrofoam, polystyrene, polystyrene, there we go, like little blocks of boss polystyrene so uh, that it doesn't get damaged too. So basically if we're going to go ahead and take this out of the box, um, surprise I can actually do this one handed, it's actually very very heavy to the touch, so I've actually uh, unboxed this already that you know I couldn't help myself to look at this um, as soon as I got it uh, but here I am doing the review for you guys so as you can see again this is number 84 uh, and it is written on there as well and the first thing I got to notice is that the packaging is very very different to my other screwdriver or my other sonic screwdrivers uh, this is packaged very very differently uh, a lot of my other sonic screwdrivers did come in like almost like little uh, protective display boxes almost uh, like either cardboard or tin ones um, but they also seem you know very decent quality as well uh, and this one comes in a tube so that is very very interesting um, so we will definitely see what that is about uh, just trying to unwrap this on camera for you guys and as you can see, this is the entire prop replica. So I'm going to take this out of its bubble wrap can stay there. And we're going to go ahead and look over the box, which is right here. So as you can see, it comes in this black cylindrical tube. Uh, and as you can see, this is just a fully black cylindrical tube with this hazard yellow uh, on it arrows all the way around the top with Roboto replicas or Roboto, Roboto radiation sorry uh, on the top which is actually really really cool it's almost going uh, with this sort of laser lasery um, danger sort of you know theme which I think is really really cool uh, it makes the uh, site you know the sci-fi vibe of Doctor Who as well so uh, I think it's really really cool uh, the cardboard used for this uh, packaging is also really, really cool too. It's, you know, decent quality. Uh, they have a sticker on here which says Caution, laser screwdriver inside. And then on the bottom here, it says Big Scary Laser, do not look into beam with remaining eye. Uh, so again, that's pretty cool, um, as you can see. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and open the top. It does actually struggle to stay on there's no actual like fastening and stuff like when they're in the uh, tins and the boxes they're sort of got they they've got like a foam mold and they fit into that and then obviously the tin goes over the top so that there's sort of no issue but as you can see there is a little bit where here it kind of you know you can see it it doesn't fully fit flush but you'll see why in a second uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove this, so as you can see it slides out right here, and inside is the laser screwdriver, right there. And yeah, it's literally uh, just put inside of this tubing right here, 
uh, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and lay that down very carefully there. And it is secured in the top with foam blocks. So it's kind of wedged up and secured in there with little foam blocks, which is a very interesting different way to package uh, this. This is actually very heavy. Um, but as I said, it's very, very different and uh, a unique way of packaging this. Um, there we go. Oh, it actually came out with its base this time. That's very interesting. Uh, so we've got the base here. We've got the laser screwdriver here. And as you can see in the bottom there, or may not be able to see in the bottom there, a little bit. As you can see, there is bubble wrap in the bottom there to protect the base on the bottom. So yeah, this is the packaging. And one thing that I've noticed um, with this one is you don't get a certificate of authenticity with it. Like, um... I, I did have a look in the box, but there there is none that actually comes with it. So, um, you know, which is something that I really, really think is a cool little souvenir that comes with these. Um, and yeah, that, that's the only thing that I'd say about this that's uh, a little bit of a thing. But uh, as you can see, it comes decently packaged in here. It's a little bit loose, but uh, it is decently packaged. It hasn't damaged itself or anything when coming to me, which is really, really nice to hear. Um, so first of all, what we're gonna go ahead and do is look over the actual base of this. Uh, so this is the base, and this is one thing that I'm actually very, very impressed with that they did very, very well here. Now, in the past, I've gotten bases from Rupert Replicas that was actually 3D printed for the cost, the classic custom Sonic. And it was like 3D printed, so it's really, really uh, light, and uh, it, it, it looks really, really good on camera, but it's like really, really light because it's been 3D printed. Um, so this one is a much nicer style of base. It's got a real heavy weight to it, and it's got these really, really nice designed lines and then these all little indents which go all the way down which match the indents of the bottom of the, of the laser screwdriver right there. The base is in this nice silver colour. It is actually metal, so it's fully metal. Um, that's why it's so heavy. Um, but I think this is a really, really good thing. It looks really, really cool, looks the part, and is super nice too. And then on the bottom, uh, instead of getting a certificate of authenticity, you get uh, this at the bottom, which is dub uh, it's got the DW insignia on the bottom. You've got actually the lasers pointing at there, which I think is a really, really nice design choice. You've got the little rubber stopper feet on there too. And then you've got the Master's Laser Screwdriver by Rubber Toe Replicas, Number 84 of 300. Yeah, I got mine in a pretty early one in the actual release. And then you've got the signature by Nick Roboto, uh, which says made by Nick Roboto right there. And the signature is right there too. Now, usually you do get the signature on the base um, and you do get a second one with a certificate of authenticity, but as you can tell, it is not with this right here. So uh, the only thing we do have is the base, which is still really, really cool. I think the base is definitely the best one that I've received from the rubber toe replicas. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with it. I think this is definitely a big, you know, level up from the other bases, um, which I think is really, really nice. And it matches very, very well with the laser screwdriver vibe right here too. Now, talking of the laser screwdriver, um, we'll actually put it in the base in a bit, but uh, let's actually review this first, which is the laser screwdriver. And yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go from the bottom upwards. So as you can see, you've got the end cap right here, which, as you can very much see, is very, very nice. It's this sort of brass colour, this sort of golden brass colour. Um, which is very, very nice. This screwdriver is probably one of the heaviest ones I do own. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you got this nice little crackling effect on the bottom, um, which is very, very reminiscent of the 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver with the crackling effect. And you can see this is in multiple divots right here. You then also have this nice piece right here, which again looks really, really cool, with, followed by the bolt right here, which 
you know, the attention to detail on this looks amazing. You then got this like little grub screw hole right here. And then you've got the nice knurling effect, which goes all the way around the cage and is available on all of the sides. So it looks really, really cool. You've got this piece right here, which is a nice little access to show almost the inner workings of the laser screwdriver. And this does actually have lights in here, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So as you can see, this is all the way around here. Um, and then there's this little section right here, which has a few pieces on it, which we're gonna go over right now. So as you can see, you've got two little flat head screws um, right there. Which you can use a flat head screwdriver to actually unturn uh, as you can see and then you've got the activation button right here which springs this piece upwards but we'll actually get onto the features in a little bit uh, then moving up you've got the activation button which activates the lights and sounds and then on the back here you've got this nice little piece right here which is opposite this big switch here now actual little fun fact I actually glued this piece on myself and there will be a video coming very very soon so I do recommend you go ahead and check it out but uh, Nick actually ended up forgetting to add this piece so he ended up shipping out the piece and some super glue to actually fit it now I did a very very good job of it to be honest with the with the positioning it is very much on the opposite side it's probably best that you look at it from this direction. It is very much on the opposite side and it looks really, really nicely placed on there. Um, but the only thing is, is there is a tiny little bit of residue of the super glue. And that is on there. <coughs> Literally you guys, you can barely see it. So it's not affecting the overall look at all. But yeah, it's tiny little residue there, but there's, it's, it's not a big deal at all, it, you can barely see it because it, it dries clear and I've got most of it off anyway and so you know I think if I just literally polished it it would come off anyway so you know there's no problem right there. So yeah now going up to the top segment um, which as you can see has this nice silver look all the way around, you've got this nice golden ring right here, it's a little bit smaller than this golden ring right here. And then you've got the top bit with the grub screw and the three cylind cylindrical tubes which protrude out of the top of here with the three LED lights in, um, which this Sonic replica does have lights and sound, um, which is technically a little inaccurate because obviously the actual prop only had lighting, but it is cool that they added the sound effects in too. It is only the character options toy version, which by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison video very, very soon on the actual replica versus the character options toy. So smash a like on this video if you want me to go ahead and do that comparison video. But yeah, it has the sound chip from the character options toy in it, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, Right here, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and extend it. So to extend it, all you gotta do is firmly press down on this piece right here at the top, and it springs open very, very forcefully, I would say. Now these little bits do come open too, and this bit extends, and as you can see on this bit, it has this very, very nice brass piece in the middle. I I'm saying brass, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is brass. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't don't judge me. I'm not massively knowledgeable in materials and stuff like that, but um, whatever it looks, it looks very very cool. So let's just go with that. And then these bits do extend too, as you can see. Now this actually this Sonic does come with lights and sound. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and show you the first sound, which is the laser burst. Now as you can see. The laser uh, activates the three LED lights in the top there, but it also it also activates this piece right here too, which I think looks really really cool. The sound is also decently loud on this one too, so I'm actually very very happy with that because you know it actually works out very very well. So yeah, you also have the other sound effect where if you just hold down the button 
it uh, does this sort of like de-aging effect or aging effect. Um, so. So you just got to basically hold down a little bit. And it will do it. Um, but yeah, as you can see from that, it still lights up this piece and the three LEDs at the top just for a little bit longer whilst the sound effect plays out. So yeah, that's basically the lights and sound element of this and the look over of this Sonic, uh, sorry, this laser screwdriver um, right here. So yeah, that's basically the review almost over and done with. Yeah, you basically just shut it by pushing down the top. This bit snaps in first and then the bottom bit after as you can see but yeah this is definitely my most expensive prop replica to date as well uh, considering this cost probably around 1200 pounds um to actually get built by nick himself and then shipped to my address um so it's definitely the most expensive but it's very, very much worth it, and I'm so glad I actually got this to add this to my collection because it, it looks insanely cool. Uh, you can actually place it into there too, and it does stand up. So as you can see, you've got some nice... There it is. But yeah, um, this is basically the entire review over and done with, really. So yeah, basically, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you enjoyed my review of the Masters Laser Screwdriver by Rubber Toe Replicas. If you enjoyed this review and you want more reviews like this or just more Doctor Who content in general, then click that subscribe button and smash a like on this video. I would massively appreciate it. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on this channel as soon as possible. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, it would massively help me out. Uh, also, just so you guys know, I do have channel memberships available. They are only $1.99 a month and all of the revenue really, really does help out to basically help fund making videos on this channel. Um, and also, I do have super thanks available too. So if you want to drop a super thanks donation on this video, you can donate as much or as little as you want to. And all of the revenue from the super thanks and again, the channel memberships go directly back into making content for you guys um so yeah basically they are available if you can't do them um then just go ahead and subscribe but yeah that's pretty much it for the end of this video so thank you very much for watching this video comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace let's actually focus this out on on the sonic let's get a nice little cinematic shot of the sonic and have it fade out Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Back. Yo. Once again, I'm back around. Uh, Rush it back in style. Uh, haters reconcile. Uh, I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh, Everybody looking down, everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch, I'm one of the horsemen 